Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Xenoblade 2. In the last episode, we explored the ancient ship, and Rex got stabbed in the back by Jin. Malice didn't seem to give a shit, and Neo is all, like, you know, distraught, because she actually, uh, kind of likes Rex. But who is this mysterious girl with the red hair? Excuse me. It's such a mournful sound. Huh? It hasn't stopped. Not... Not in all these years. Hasn't stopped? You mean that bell sound? Is the Praetorium somewhere nearby? Uh... Where are we? This is... Elysium. The land where long ago, mankind lived in harmony with their creator. It's where... we were born. Get out! R really Is that a core crystal? You're a blade. My name is Pyra. What? Oh right. M mine is I know you. You're Rex, right? How did you know my name? That Just actually now, gets explained later. Contact. Just now? Sorry. I can't seem to remember how I got here. You were... killed. Stabbed through the heart by Jin. Jin? Through the... I remember now. That bastard stabbed me! Oh man! This is bad! Everyone in the guild is in danger! No, wait! I can't do anything if I'm dead! Titan's fucked! If I wasn't dead, I'd kick that guy's ass! <laughs> Rex, I have a request. Can you take me to Elysium? Elysium? But isn't that here? This world is merely a memory. An ancient, half-forgotten memory of what once was. The real Elysium lies in your world. Atop the world tree that rises from the heart of all rest. Memory? So it's like an illusion. But there's no way. I'm dead, remember? How can I help if I'm not breathing? I will give you half of my life force. That way, you can be revived. <clears throat> As my driver, as the driver of the Aegis. The driver of the Aegis? What, what the... What will you do, Rex? Good to know that I've been saying this place Aegis wrong really all these years. Home? Aegis shield in Final Fantasy games? <laughs> really exists. Rex. I know what you're thinking, and you are correct. By coming to this place, you can save the world. Save it from the slow demise that is its fate. We wouldn't have to live in fear. Then there's only one choice. I'm in. Let's go to Elysium. I'll take you there myself. Thank you, Rex. 
Now place your hand on my chest. What? What? Are you sure? All right. Well, that was quick. Already getting some action. I'm just kidding. But no, that line right there, it's definitely a meme line for sure. Put your hand on my chest. Yeah. That in the line. This is too ridiculous for words! Or however Rex says it. Oh, my accent isn't very good. <laughs> or my impression of his accent isn't very good. I, I have my own accent. Everybody has an accent. Cool, man. We got a new sword. And we're alive. Payback time. Nia. And them. And? Like what? The price for their lives has already been paid in full. Now that we have finally obtained the Aegis... The fewer living souls know about it, the better. I, I can't do that. These people haven't done anything wrong. I don't understand you. Now, now. Have you forgotten why you came here to begin with? Nia? No, but... Oh, for the love of... Fine, I'll handle it myself. What the? of you just claim her power for yourself this is as far as it goes yeah he just over here just leave it out give it a rest Marlos can't you see he's just a child a child don't make me laugh this kid is yeah. himself the Aegis a driver <laughs> The Aegis is driver. Rex is. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh. <laughs> you are done. <laughs> Thanks, Pyra. You're welcome. Now, don't let up! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Ah! Everybody, go! No! Quick! If Rex seems like an amateur right now, yeah. it's because he is. Level 4 special. You rat. How can a no 
nobody like you. Ah, oh, but with those eyes, I guess I should have been more wary from the start. What do you mean? Like I tell you. to take you down. First thing you need to know about is affinity. See that bond of light connecting Rex and Pyra? This represents the affinity that exists between them. And when affinity glows golden, it's a sign that the minds of the blade and driver are in harmony. Basically, it's high affinity. Movement speed will go up and recharging arts will speed up. You can strengthen affinity in battle by staying physically close to your blade and hitting home with as many attacks as possible. On the other hand, if there's too much distance, affinity weakens. Which I guess, I mean, those friendship rings I mentioned before, I guess that's kind of a good thing, but I mean, even still, you don't need those. So, I don't know. I've never used them. Blind spot. Never use that shit. Yeah. Yeah, blade arts are basically passive arts that blades use automatically to boost your uh, your driver. Something to definitely look at and keep in mind when you're choosing blades to use. Yeah, we'll go over trust later. Trust is, uh, you know, when we actually get into like affinity charge yeah. stuff. Don't need to be getting into trust right now. Ah yeah, specials. Three levels of power, and then when you're at max affinity, uh, you can unleash a level four special. So yeah, you gotta basically do a timing event every time a special is done uh, to increase the damage. Yeah, blade combos, that's another one of the mechanics in this game that you have to learn in order to take advantage of the combat system. I canceled into a special there. So yeah, right now there is an effect up there called Heat. And there's a meter that goes down over time. And what you want to do is you want to, before that meter gets all the way down, if you want to uh, continue the blade combo, you have different paths you can take. You can take a fire path or you can take a water path. If you take the fire path, the next level 3 special has to be either another fire special level 3 or higher or a light special level 3 or higher. Conversely, if you take the water path, down below, uh, you have an ice or a fire special, and then you have effects that you can seal, like self-destruct, uh, shackle blade, affinity down, uh, you know, just uh, basically you can just, you can seal effects that monsters have to give you an advantage. Plus, it's also a good idea to do blade combos with driver combos, because it increases the damage. Because uh, essentially when you do that, it becomes a fusion combo. I'll be talking about this stuff a lot more as we progress, so don't you worry. Let's go. Gotcha. 
But yeah, we can go from heat to burnout. And that's a level 2 special. So now we're going to try to hopefully... Oh, come on, man. Yeah, I don't know if we're going to be able to get to level 3 here. If I was using po if I was using pouch items right now, it'd be easier to get to level three. So I'd have art recharge. It's all right. We'll get there. Oh wait, no, we won't, because the stupid thing ran out. Get up, Rex. That's just a level 3 special. Blazing End. I finished him with it too. Well, even though I didn't get to finish off the blade combo, good, kid. I still got to show it's off no Blazing End. To control the Aegis like that. However... Don't get cocky, you little shit! Duvok. Understood. What? Get out of the way, Nia! Have you gone mad? You're the one who's off your net, wheeling on a child! Nia... I don't think you quite comprehend your position. I get it, but... You're starting to piss me off! This guy's kind of a spaz, isn't he? for someone who's only just woken up. Fire up! Takes me back to 500 years ago. What's the deal with that appearance? I'm guessing your goal is a museum. That is our dream! Then I have no choice but to stop you! Still you persist. And his 
that? Malot! Azura. Joel Mark pulling his weight for sure. Stop them. Open fire. And more. At least in that instance. Turn her around! Ready to cannon! It's no use. They're out of range. Damn it! Oh, they gave us the slip. Not chasing them? The Aegis is awakened. That's enough for now. I'll have Akos up with him. That'll have to do. Chapter 1 is the shortest chapter in this game. By far. Yeah, we're already done with Chapter 1. It's essentially just a prologue chapter. And so Papunin wisely ran away for dear life. Wise? Who wise now? You useless idiot! Why can't Papuni not even die properly? What if they ask Bada to repay money? Hmm. Huh? Die? Repay who? Meh. None of your business. Anyway. You shorten tell stocks. Me where Rex and Blade went. You shorten Rex GameStop Titan stocks. Friends ran away. <laughs> Went to south of Cyclas Sea. After that, Banner knew as much as Papunin. Storm was very thick, so Papunin. Papunin lost them, yes? Yes, but. And then, run away like coward? Yes, but. Banner not wanting feeble excuses of Papunin! Just get back here! You got lot of work to do! Ma, ma, ma! Even pricey insurance banner takeout on Maelstrom go to waste! Still, how interesting. Heading southward from Cyclas Sea. In current season, that likely take them to Gormont. You, go! Get Consul Dougal on the line, immediately! Yes, sir. One moment, please. Isn't Chairman Banner? What an unexpected pleasure! May I just say that I admire how you rebranded those broken core crystals? And selling them onto the Dunderheads back in Morar Den. Absolutely sublime! Banner did not call to hear pointless flattery. And blubbering about core crystals on unsecured line? Is Dougal some kind of idiot? What if Indor tap our communication? Oh, of course. I'm very sorry. Man, forget it. We got bigger fishes to fry. Oh? What's going on? Listen up. Ooh. 
that's a nice sight to wake up to. Pyra? Oh, thank goodness. You aren't injured at all, are you? No, I'm fine, I guess. Why? I'm not certain. We seem to have washed up on a titan of some kind. A titan? <gasps> Where's Gramps? And Nia? Gotta find them. They can't be far. Okay. All right. Now the game truly begins. Oh, and yeah, we hear another amazing theme. This game is full of amazing musical themes. So, weapon points you used to level up arts, and SP is used to level up your, um, your affinity chart, your driver affinity chart. So yeah, every driver has stats, HP strength, ether agility, and luck, and all that good stuff. Basically. The driver is the character that you directly control in this game. Which is different for Torn of the Gold Golden Country, by the way. You can actually control uh, blades directly in the DLC expansion. Because uh, they, like, you know, they added stuff to the con. I have been playing the expansion a little bit lately, and uh, it's pretty good so far. Treasure acquired. Yeah, weapon modification, aux cores, and blades also have an affinity chart. So, um, so yeah. Fun stuff, huh? There's a lot of mechanics in this game that aren't really explained too well. Yeah, field skills are very handy for removing obstacles. Yeah, aux cores are basically accessories for blades. Same thing as driver accessories, except they're just for blades. That's what aux cores are, essentially. Alright, so let's take a look at some of this stuff that they were talking about just now that was a lot did you get all that did you get all that crap that they threw at you because guess what you, you you'll never get it again there is no tutorial menu in this game they actually have a tutorial menu for the golden country but for the base game nope no nope. if the, if the players didn't get it the first time you're you, guess what that's the only time you're gonna get it you're, you're gonna have to figure it out from now on literally that's that's how this game is <laughs> Like, there's not, like, I, I don't know, that's one thing I'd have to say about this game they, they really fucked up on is the tutorial stuff. Because it's needed. It's fucking needed in this game. Anyways, yeah, you can, uh, actually, I like Rolling Smash better than I like, uh, better than I like, um, Sword Bash. Or, well, actually, Double Spinning Edge is good once you get better damage ratios and shit. I don't know, I, I guess I'll go Sword Bash for now, but Rolling Smash I definitely want, because, well, it, well, it's Ether type, but that doesn't really matter, it's extremely powerful. 
Uh, basically, yeah, you'll hit enemies in front of you. I, I can't remember how far it goes, but yeah, you'll be hitting multiple enemies. If there's multiple enemies in front of you, uh, Rex will deal damage with Rolling Smash on all of them. So it's easily one of his best arts, in my opinion. I mean, all, his, all, all the arts are good. Anchor Shot is actually the best topple art in the game. Or one of the best topple arts. But you wouldn't know that from looking at it right now because we have to advance the story in order for Anchor Shot to have the topple effect. But yeah. Anywho. Oh yeah, I should go over uh, Affinity Chart. So we have SP. So what can I unlock here? Can I unlock anything? Agility. Rapid Attack 1 allows the use of Driver Art assigned to the X button at the start of battle. Basically, it'll make it so one of your arts is always active at the beginning of the battle. It's just a passive ability that, you know, once you start the fight, the art that you have assigned to the X button is available, like right from the get-go. That's, that's the only thing that this affects, in case you're wondering. And all the rest of these is basically, oh, not this. Increases the HP restored when reviving a teammate. So if a teammate falls and you have to use the um, the party gauge to revive a teammate, this will increase the amount of HP they get back when you uh, when you rescue them. So yeah, the rescue mechanics like in Xenoblade 1 return for this game. Which is not a bad thing because I always liked that in that game. Way better than using... I don't know, I, I've always liked that mechanic in Xenoblade 1 where you have to go and actually save your party members. That's in fact, I like every... Like, Dragon's Dogma, same thing with the pawns. I love that system in that game, too. So yeah, I might as well get an agility boost, I guess. Or I could have went with the strength, but eh. I want to be able to hit stuff. Uh, accessory... Eh, crap. And, of course, the pouch items, which I'm not going to bother with right now. Well, let's take a look at Pyra. As you can see, we can modify our weapon with a core chip, which we don't have right now. Our auto attack stat is pretty low, 17, but that will change. So, hey, look at that. We got some, has increased. got some affinity rewards right from the bat. So let's take a look at some of uh, Pyra's stuff here. Now... These three nodes right here that you can see, these are actually her specials, okay? Uh, Flame Nova is her level 1 special, and the passive ability that it has is it will increase damage dealt to beast by, by 60%, and then once you get it up to level 5, it'll be 100% at, at, you know, at the max level. It's a, you know, it's a pretty, it's not one of her best specials. I mean, it's obviously good if you're starting blade combos and stuff like that, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's all right. It's a fairly quick special you can get off, um, and same thing with Prominence Revolt. The better thing about Prominence Revolt is that it deals double damage to topple enemies at level one, and it deals 150% more damage to toppled enemies, um, at level five. So yeah, it's extremely good. Uh, for topple enemies. That's the passive ability that these have. Level 3 special, her, probably her best special, Blazing End. Increases critical damage by 25% at level 1, all the way up to 85% at level 5. The bad thing about this is, is Pyra's uh, highest cr uh, critical chance, I think it's like 30% with a Moon Matter chip. Yeah, her critical rate isn't going to be that high, man. And a lot of a lot of blades would actually kill for this passive ability on their specials or just in general. But yeah, unfortunately, Pyra's critical rate isn't at such to where she really takes advantage of it. But still, when she does crit, when you have this maxed out, she crits hard. Especially if you have, if you have Rex set up right for her to, for her to to hit hard. All right. So these abilities over here, these yellow abilities, these are battle skills. These are basically just passive skills that, you know, happen when you're in battle. This skill right here, Purifying Flames, a special has a 5% chance to defeat non-boss foes with up to 20% HP. Non-boss foes. I'm also assuming that they're talking about uniques, too, when they say not, uh, when they're talking about bosses. So, 
Yeah, this special is, or this battle skill isn't that good. I mean, a 15% chance to defeat not in boss enemies. Uh, with no, uh, no, it's it's not very good. It's crap. Purifying flames is crap. Resplendence. Now this isn't crap. This battle skill increases blade combo damage by a lot once you max it out. So this is one of Pyra's better battle skills for sure. And her best one, Flaming Edge, increases crit damage. Again, I was saying that that Pyra crits hard in this game. Yeah, when she does crit, which again the potential is thirty percent with a Moon Matter, and when she does crit, she crits hard, especially if you combine this skill with the passive skill of Blazing End. And if you also have uh, critical damage uh, raising accessories on on Rex, like um, I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called. Crimson head headband, I think it's called for crit damage. Or headbands, I, I believe, are, are the accessory lines that actually increase crit damage. Okay, and then the green skills over here. These are field skills. So if you have a fire mastery check. Uh, then Pyra can use Fire Mastery to get rid of barriers. And she's got Focus all the way up to level 3. And her last one is Cooking. She can actually cook certain things and make pouch items uh, by cooking and stuff like that. So that'll be interesting. We'll get into more of that later. Uh, I could unlock some of the Expansion Pass stuff right now, but I'm not going to do that. Go ahead and save the game again here. So hopefully I gave a decent enough overview for starters here. Pyra is definitely a very good blade, but she gets outclassed by other blades later on. She is very good. I'm gonna miss treasure probably in this game from time to time, so. You're like, oh, there's a trust you missed, you know, back there or whatever. I'll probably get it eventually. Have some herbs. You are kind, but no amount of human medicine would suffice. But weep not, my boy. This is my fate. I, I can't help it. Can I? No parting is forever. We will surely meet again when the flow of the ether will set. <gasps> The days with you were the best I ever had. Until we meet again, Rex. Gramps. Gramps. I told you not to cry, didn't I, Rex? <laughs> Rex. <laughs> Rex. Gramps! Rex! I love 
solve this reveal. Grams, <laughs> how is that? It can't be. Use your eyes. Don't you recognize me? Um, no. well, not really, no. I am so confused right now. So you see, by maximizing cellular regeneration to retain all vital bodily functions, I seem to have reverted to a larval stage. Well, that's quite handy. Must be nice to be a titan. This isn't something just any old titan can do. Only one so advanced as myself. Um, Rex, are you angry? <laughs> I'm not. It's more that I didn't want you to see me blubbering like a baby. Haha. <laughs> it's okay to be angry. So, when will you be back to your old self? Good question. No more than 300 years. Th 300 years? But I'll be long dead by then. Hmm. I suppose that's true. But what about my house? Do I have to live in the streets? Perhaps this is an opportunity to fly the nest. You mean, pay rent? Oh, miser boots. It's a massive extra expense. <laughs> Still. Glad you're okay, Rance. <laughs> oh, shit. We can't stand around all day. We have to find Mia. Mia? You mean that driver and her blade from before? Yeah. They kind of saved our lives. I do hope they're all right. Gramps, do you remember anything? I remember crashing through many trees before landing here. They probably fell off then. Hmm. That's not a whole lot to go on. Perhaps we would have some luck following the trail of broken trees. Good thinking, Pyra. Let's go. By the way, Rex, is that a core crystal I see shining on your chest? Just what happened to you? I'll tell you later. Right now, we need to find Nia. Oh, -ho! now this makes a nice change. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much uh, Gramps will be riding around in Rex's scuba helmet the rest of the game now. So yeah, if I was to compare uh, Azurda or Gramps to another character from a different game, I would say he's kind of like Munchie from Dragon Quest VIII in a way, sort of. Except a lot more talkative. Yeah, he's Munchie from Dragon Quest VIII, except a lot more involved in the plot, and he actually talks, you know, more. <laughs> That's what it is. Ah, uh, yes, collection points. Come out, come out. Puzzle Tree Wood, we're gonna need 10 of those uh, to advance the main quest, so... Remember that collection point right there. You can actually skip travel back here and take advantage of it if you need to. Uh, there's a bunch of other ones too you can use, but that's one right there. So you got a fallen tree here, and Pyra's going to use her field skill fire mastery to get rid of the log for us. Thank you very much, Pyra. Yeah, I already, already kind of 
and all of that stuff. What have we here? And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. What's that sound? I felt a ripple in the ether. Feels like a driver is using a blade in battle. I'm certain of it. Let's go. Okay. My lady, leave this to me. I'm not just gonna abandon you, Zuma. What? We're here to help. Mia! Rex! What are you doing here? My lady, now's our chance. Let's attack. What do you mean, what is he doing here? We crashed... together, right? What do you mean, what are we doing here? So yeah, that icon is the enemy's weakness, although most of the time I, I hardly ever pay attention to that. <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you, I hardly ever pay attention to the weakness. And weakness, sometimes it seems like it can change in battle depending on which uh, elements you're using. So yeah, most of the time I, I just don't, I really don't pay it no mind. Unless it's, you know, a boss that I know I can exploit an element. Like uh, Cloud Sea King Ken being weak to wind, for example. So yeah, we're going to start a fire element to our fire special to start a blade combo. And a link blade combo, you need to use a special one level, hi level higher than the previous one. I'll bump Nia special gauge up to level 2 automatic. No normally, you would probably have to wait for the steam bomb that, that Nia is going to do here. Alright? So, yeah, to use... Or to tell the other characters to use their special, right there I just hit the ZL button to get uh, Steam Bomb on there. Yeah, if I had R recharge, I could probably uh, finish this guy off with level 3, but yeah, I didn't do that. And the steam bomb is going to run out. Yeah, maybe I should have been using some pouch items, huh? It's making this fight last a way longer than it should. So why you guys even... Well, I guess that's a stupid question. Indeed. Seriously, it's good to see you. And you're alright. Right back at you. Hey, by the way, what happened to the big guy who saved us? The Titan? Are you talking about me? Wait, what? How? That's sort of a long story. Let's get somewhere we can rest. I'll tell you all about it then. That seems prudent. My lady? Sure. Lead the way. I see. So you two are off to Elysium. Listen, I never thanked you properly. For saving us, I mean. Dromark said that you carried us all the way here. We owe you our lives, Titan. 
No need to thank me. After all, you were the ones who saved Rex. Don't mention it. So, you Titans can regenerate. Pretty handy. This isn't something just any old Titan can... You can retire that line now. Excuse me. I'd like less of that attitude. If you had listened to me and declined that reckless job to begin with, we wouldn't be in this mess. Take a nap, you said. Like I was some kind of doddery old man. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm a terrible disappointment. Look how sorry I am. <laughs> Can you not muster even a shred of sincere remorse? Sorry, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> if I hadn't taken the job, they'd have got their hands on Pyra. Rex. I couldn't let that happen. Actually, they wouldn't have gotten no their way. hands on Pyra at all if he hadn't taken tackle. the job. That's the mm -hmm. funny thing. They needed him to open that door. That's the whole reason they brought Rex along, was so he could open that, that seal on that ship. <laughs> but Rex, you know, Rex is a little daft sometimes. Hello there. Still awake, I see. Sometimes. I can't seem I'll give him a pass. He's a kid. It's good to see you again, Azurda. Likewise. Though you've changed a lot since last we met, Pyra. I suppose I have. A lot's happened. Yes, it has. I wanted to thank you for saving my dear Rex. And I need to know what you told him. Is that what you really intend? Yes. It is my true desire. I see. Well, that's good enough. I have no reason to doubt you, Pyra. That said, I do have one other goal now. Jin and Malos. I cannot allow them to continue with their current course. The fate of an Aegis never changes. Right. And you're going to get Rex mixed up in this? <sighs> I'm not blaming you. No matter how hard you tried, that boy would find some way to get involved. I see half your core is missing. Seems you've taken on quite a burden. Azurda, I... Promise me you'll take care of Rex. I will. Right then. We should probably try and find a town or something. Does anyone have any idea where we are? This is Gormot, a province of the Adanian Empire. You must have seen the Gormot Titan before. Yeah, only from a distance though. We're somewhere around its belly. So, this is Gormot, huh? Hang on a second. Nia, your ears. Are you Gormotti? Well done, genius. Took you long enough. Gormot is the land of my lady's birth. Wow. Well, that's reassuring. If we want to find a town, the first step is to get out of this forest. Keep heading up, and we'll hit the plain soon. The town's that way. Brilliant. Let's get going. Okay then.
think this is a good time to end the video now that Nia's joined. I'll go over Nia and how she works and how Dromark works in the next episode of Xenoblade 2. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.